When Harry and I opened the gallery, um, we knew that it would be successful because we knew that we were going to work hard and we had already agreed that we would bring a quality of art into New Orleans that had not been here before. And we decided that our niche would be African American art, good African American art done by artists that people only read about. And since these were artists that uh, most people could only read about, we wanted them to have some kind of personal contact with these artists. So what we did is for every artist who came, we would uh, do an audio-visual. To date, we have taped over 75 artists, and the tapes are in the archives of the Amistad, and students are always invited to that. People have come in this gallery without any intention of, of buying art because they say they couldn't afford it. But they always say they feel so much better when they come in and they feel even better when they leave. I've had kids in the gallery and I see how they react to art and I think it's very important. There are a lot of lessons that can be learned through the art. You know, we can learn history through the arts. We can learn math through the arts. And that's a good lesson for schools to take. I think I've been inspired most when I see artists in their 80s and 90s, and I mean in all forms of art. Same as Chase in the culinary arts. Look, she's in her 80s and she's moving on and she's helping her community. It teaches us that age is only an excuse to not do something, whether it's young or old. You know, you see artists going on and, and the older they get, it seems to me that the more creative they get. And I look at them and I say, you know, if they can do this, I can do it too. So I'm inspired to move on in spite of all.